Hey everybody, I'm Alicia Toot from A Music Vlog Yeah, and I'm here with Courtney Barnett right before she goes on stage in Toronto tonight. How are you doing? Good, good, very good. I just want to say welcome back to the website. It's a pleasure to be speaking with you today. Yeah, it's good to be back. So, as I mentioned, you're touring, playing Toronto tonight, you're on this North American tour. How's everything treating you so far? Um, it's been really fun. I guess last time, we were just saying before, last time we were here, we kind of got to uh, venture around a little bit, but um, it's... The shows we played last time were to a really kind of um, packed crowd, and so it, it's it's I've kind of been looking forward to this show for a long time, just because I don't know, and it's sold out as well, so it's kind of exciting to play to lots of people. Congrats! <laughs> Thanks. So when it comes to tour prep, um, what are some things or quintessential items you must have with you as far as going on the road goes? Um. I uh, have been um, bringing lots of <laughs> socks. Socks? Yeah, like these ones. You like fuzzy socks? Uh, yeah, I like colourful socks. <laughs> and also uh, tea. I've been like drinking lots of tea because I've been, uh, my throat's been getting a bit um, overworked. So I've been uh, drinking lots of, you've got it, oh, it's like, uh, you, you can't get it in Australia, but you can get it in America, throat, throat coat tea, and then like honey and ginger tea, and that's, that's it. it's not very exciting. <laughs> tea, tea and socks. <laughs> when you have time to spend on tour, um, what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, well, I don't know, I kind of, when we do get time off, which isn't um, that often. Um, kind of try to try to go to a gallery or something if you can, or like a museum. But normally, um, that's pretty pretty rare. Normally, we just kind of end up going to a park or something and and lying down. <laughs> <laughs> When we had last spoke, you had just released the double EP, and yeah. you were working on a new record. So, just how's that coming along for you? Uh, good. We yeah, we recorded it in uh, in April, and uh, and then we pretty much left for like a three month um, tour the day after we finished it, and uh, so it's kind of in the in between all those bits. It's been mixed and uh, and uh, I did the artwork for it, and and then I'm just kind of deciding all the final you know, things, and, uh, and, and then, yeah, we're going to release it early, early next year. That's yeah. Well, I wanted to bring up, I came across an article recently um, where Jamie T said that he was extremely influenced by the split or the double EP um, yes. for his new, yeah, for his new release. It was a big influence on this new record of his. So just when you found, th found that out, um, what were your thoughts on that? Yeah, I saw that. That's, that's cool. I, I want to listen to the record now. Yeah. I met him um, in uh, uh, London a couple of months ago. Yeah, you're obviously inspiring other artists out there. So, which artists currently are inspiring you? Um, there's a a band from Australia called Total Control, which uh, I've been listening to. Uh, they're 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 pretty cool. And a band called Dick Diver. They just they just uh, did a bit of a tour and um, yeah. I'll check them out. I haven't heard of either. Yeah, they're good. They're good. Well, I know you're going on stage soon. Just to wrap things up, hypothetically here, if you were to say something that would be able to reach the whole world, what would you like to tell everyone? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> don't litter. And, uh, uh, yeah, that's a good one. Make sure you have fuzzy socks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just want to say thank you so much for taking the time Thanks. to speak with me today. It was such a pleasure, and we really look forward to your show. Thanks, everyone, for watching.